The Fenner Taper Lock system has been the predominant method of fixing transmission components to machine shafts for over 60 years. It is a simple and effective device, but successful operation of assemblies depends upon following the fitting instructions carefully. Make sure all the correct components are available and tools ready before attempting assembly. Check that the bush bore matches the diameter of the shaft it is to be fitted to. All mating surfaces of the assembly, taper bore of the hub, tapered outer surface of the bush, parallel bore of the bush and machine shaft should be cleaned to remove any contaminant that might impede accurate and effective assembly. A lint-free cloth is usually sufficient to remove debris, dirt, oil and grease, etc. Whichever size of bush is being used, assembly starts by loosely placing the bush into the taper bore, taking care to align the half holes correctly. With four hole bushes, it's best to use the threaded half hole opposite the slit and align that with the single plane half hole in the hub. With five hole bushes, the arrangement of the half holes in two pairs with a third plane half hole between, making it relatively easy to achieve correct hole alignment. Remember, a threaded half hole in the bush always matches with a plane half hole in the hub, and vice versa. Then either the two fixing grub screws for four hole bushes or the three cap head socket screws for five hole bushes are introduced to the fixing. The screw threads and points on grub screws or underhead face of cap head screws are oiled sparingly. Screws should only be finger tight at this stage. All taper lock bushes have a standard width keyway machined into the bore. On the great majority of sizes, this keyway is also standard depth. However, some maximum bore bushes have a shallow keyway and here, care must be taken to reduce the key depth and to always ensure that the key is fully seated into the shaft keyway. These steps help maintain the crucial criterion of clearance between the top of a key and the root of the bush keyway. Check the shaft is clean and free from debris. The loose hub bush assembly is then slid onto the machine shaft, sliding along until the desired axial position is reached. If axial alignment is critical, please note the hub will be drawn axially onto the bush, but only by approximately one millimetre. Then, using a hexagon key and torque wrench, tighten the two grub or three cap head screws alternately until the correct torque value is reached. However, greater security of fixing can be achieved by drifting. This involves hammering against the large end of the bush using a soft cylindrical sleeve and then retorquing the screws to the full value. Repeat this alternate drifting and screw tightening once or twice more to achieve maximum grip. It is desirable to check and, if necessary, restore full screw torque after assembly has worked under load for a short period. This does provide reassurance that a sound assembly has been achieved. It remains only to ensure that the extraction holes and threads remain clean and free of corrosion by applying a small amount of grease to these holes, which of course do not contain screws. Thank you for taking the time to view this Fenner installation video.